Welcome to the Philips Interview Patient Monitoring Microlearnings. In this video, I will walk you through the Interview Information Center web application using the multi-patient view. Let's get started. PICAIC's multi-patient view allows you to see patient information by way of a secure website, wherever it is convenient for you. Please note that this application is not intended for primary monitoring, as the displayed waveforms are delayed and there are no audible alarms. The first step is to log on using the username and password provided by your organization. Depending on your use model, the multi-patient view application may stay continuously logged in. Upon login, you will see a default main screen. The main screen can show waves, numerics and alarms for multiple patients as they are added to each sector. The amount of data seen in each sector is dependent on the screen resolution and the size of the sector. In the sector, you can see the bad label, the patient's name if configured to display, resuscitation status if configured, as well as active alarm messages, waves and numerics. Select over any sector to see the setup button. If a patient is already in a sector, an additional button called patient view will also appear. We will discover this button later in the video. To add or to change a bad label or to change the main screen layout, select the Setup button in the sector. At the top of the screen, you see a drop-down box to choose units to which you have access on the server. The shadowed beds are already assigned in the sectors. Choose a bed to add to the sector. Choose Assign Unit to assign all beds at one time. Choose Clear Sector to clear the bed label and replace it with another one. You can also use the Setup button to change the main screen layout. Select the Layout tab and choose a sector layout from the drop-down list that is fit for your screen. You can also determine how the patient name will appear in the sector. Use the drop-down list to change the default. Changes are immediate. You don't need to confirm. Just close the window. Now that your patient is added, you can hover over the sector on the main screen. You will see the Patient View button appear next to the Setup button. The Patient View window opens and provides a larger view on the patient's near real-time data. You can stretch the window to see even more data. Here, you can see additional menu buttons that permit additional functions. Patient strips provide a view of all recent alarms and related information. The application always opens with the most recent alarm strip, if there is any, since the patient was added to the multi-patient view sector. Use the drop box to view other available alarm strips. Select Show Current to view the most recent minute of patient data received. Within the strip, there are some changes you can make to the view. Select the caliper bar to change the gain of any of the waves. Select the Waves drop box to add and remove waves. Within the strip, you can scroll through the waves using the middle arrows. Change the speed of the wave by selecting the speed control. To make e-caliper measurements, you can check the caliper's checkbox here. Click and drag now your mouse to make an ECG measurement. Then select the measurement box to add the measurement to the strip. For pressure waves, slide one of the caliper bars to the desired location, for example the end of the respiration cycle, and then see the pressure value associated with it. You can also add a comment 
or relabel the strip in the caliper window. Choose one of the labels from the Dropbox and you can also add free text in the text box below. To complete, select Annotate. Now you can see your notes added at the bottom left of the strip. Here you can now select either Print or Export. To see additional review data, select the Web Review button. Web Review always opens with Alarm Review for your patient, with the most recent alarm strip displayed. There is a tabular list of the patient's alarm at the bottom. You can change the view duration and use the alarm filter to find specific types of alarm strips. To find an alarm strip in the list, you may need to look in a different page if the list is large. Controls for the alarm strips are on the left and provide a change of wave gain, wave speed and choice of waves display. You can only display four waves at a time in the web review strips. Here you can use the arrows to view additional portions of the 30 seconds alarm strip. Uncheck the ECG filter to see a bandwidth of 0 0.5 to 150 Hz. You can uncheck Clip Waves. Clip Waves is by default on to prevent wave overlap with large amplitude waves. You can choose one of the different tabs along the top right to view additional review data. For example, choose General Review. General Review provides a comprehensive way for you to review your patient's monitoring history. The review application shows the patient monitoring data up to 7 days. By default, you will see a compressed ECG wave at the top and an event tile at the bottom. Controls are on the left. In the compressed wave tile, you can see the primary ECG wave by default compressed in a 12 minutes time interval. Select the Wave Duration dropbox to change the time from 1 minute to 1 hour. Note that at 1 hour duration, the waves will be very small. You can select anywhere in the compressed tile to open a strip tile, or change the top tile to a strip tile in the Change Tile dropbox. The controls for the strip are the same as I showed you for the alarm strip review. At the bottom, the default tile is an event tile. The event tile shows all alarms and captured events within the given view duration as colored boxes. Red and yellow boxes represent the patient alarm. Cyan boxes show up for an arrhythmia event or a technical alarm. Click on any box to view the associated strip. The general event group is checked by default and displays arrhythmia, pressure, respiratory and technical alarms. You can now add or remove other event groups. An event count appears at the far right of each event bar, where this is the total number of that type of event within the current view duration and this is the number of those events that occurred at or before the time focus. Within the event tile, you can select the plus sign to open a subgroup. You can also uncheck a category if you don't want to see these types of events. Use the arrows to navigate to the next or the previous event to view with the strip or the compressed wave tile on the top. Here, you can change the timeline duration and view duration with the drop boxes. The timeline duration determines the time frame in which you want to look for patient data in the review applications. The timeline duration choice determines what the view duration can be. The view duration determines the amount of data shown in the bottom tile. This represents the white area on the grey timeline. 
This view duration is also helpful when looking at the graphic trend tile. Select the Change Tile drop-down box to change the graphic trend. The tile will open with the heart rate trend by default. You can select a different parameter from the left parameter drop-down box. You can also check the histogram box to show. If you wish to compare two measurements, then also choose a right parameter. You can use the Change Tile drop box to switch to a tabular trend. Now you see a list of vital signs. You can change the tabular interval time in the drop box. The Cardiac Review application is designed to specifically look at the ECG. The Cardiac Review opens with a similar screen as the General Review. On top, you can see the compressed wave tile. At the bottom, you see the Cardiac Event tile. As with General Review, you can change the compressed wave tile to a strip, but additionally, you can change to a multi-lead ECG or an ST snippet style. Select the ST snippets to see the averaged ST snippets for the available ECG leads. Again, you can see controls on the left. Format, wave gain, wave speed, and if available, the ST map scale. Choose to show the ST measurement points Check to show the ST baseline if available. And you can show the ST snippets in Cabrera format. In the cardiac event tile, you can view arrhythmia alarms, ST and QT alarms, along with technical alarms. You can also change the top tile to the multi lead tile. The multi lead tile shows all the available ECG leads up to 12. Note that the unit that the patient is on must be licensed to store the waves to be able to view them on the web. Again, you can see controls on the left. In the cardiac event tile, you now can see an additional bar that is indicating the ECG signal quality. When green, the quality is good. When yellow, the quality is fair. Gray is poor and white means that there is not enough data to display the 12 lead ECG. This way, you can quickly find a good quality 12 lead. You can also change the bottom tile to a graphical or a tabular trend tile, like I showed you in the general review. Or you can view ECG statistics. The ECG statistics are displayed in rows and columns. They are similar to those that you may find in a Holter report. The last tab is the 12 lead capture review. The 12 lead ECG capture review allows you to review all diagnostic captures done at either the bedside monitor or from the 12 lead full disclosure of the information center. On the left, you have the controls. From here, you can also navigate to the next and the previous page if the ECG report is a multi-page document. Use the tabs below to view another capture. You can send the document to a printer. Finally, you can return to the patient view window or close the window and return to the main overview screen. For complete information, read the installation, configuration and user guide. There is also a quick guide document available for your reference. Well, that's it for now. Check out our other micro-learning videos too. Thank you for watching.